Hello everybody, so today we're going to be trying the Cardi B hair mask. These are the exact ingredients that I decided to use. I actually put a little twist on it because I didn't use like exactly what she used, but these worked pretty well for my hair. Um, of course, you're going to cut the avocado first. As you guys can see, I like to remove the little seed, then cut it in small little pieces because it makes it easier for it to blend. Um, this is the best. And then next, as you guys are going to see, I did use some mayonnaise. I used two large scoops of this. Um, the consistency was pretty well. Then I used one egg. In her ingredients, she used two. I didn't have extra virgin olive oil, so I decided to use coconut oil. Of course, the infamous Jamaican black castor oil is my favorite. Then I had a mixture of castor oil, and I used some rosehip oil. And then next but not least, you're going to blend it. Um, I actually had to mix it around because I wanted it to be very, very smooth. At first, if it looks like this and it's too chunky, then you could go back in and blend it again, which is what I did. And it came out really, really smooth just like that. So, yeah, this is exactly what my hair looks like before. Um, not too matted, but it did need a protein treatment because it's been a while, child. But let's hop into this video. What's going on, you guys? It's your girl, Daya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know I look a little bit crazy here. Y'all, my hair is overdue. <laughs> Yo, my hair is overdue, y'all, for a wash day, for a deep condition, a protein treatment. Yeah, all of that. Y'all see this? I have it in this little puff right now, but it is over freaking due for a wash day. I didn't look like that, all right? My hair has been moisturized. I have been refreshing it for the past two weeks, but it's still overdue. My scalp is itching. And I actually want to do something new today, as you guys can see in that title. I am going to be trying Cardi B's hair mask. I know this was like a whole trending thing, probably like a while ago, and I'm now getting to it. But I want to give it a try. You guys probably don't know, but I did used to do um, protein treatments in my hair. I had stopped. I don't even know why I stopped. I probably just didn't have the time to do them. And deep conditioning weekly just became my favorite thing. So I do want to incorporate protein treatments um, more often this year in 2022, especially when it comes to my hair, because I know how important protein is on the scalp so we're gonna get to it if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn that post bell notification so you're notified every single time you go upload a video follow me on my hair page at here's day it is always on the screen and the link is always in that description box without further ado let's hop right into the video you guys already saw um, me making the mask and i told you guys exactly what i used i did put like a little twist on it only because i didn't have every single ingredient that she used I saw different recipes, honestly, on YouTube and on Google, and I saw that she used, like, extra virgin olive oil, and I think that was another thing that she used, or she used an extra egg. But for me, as you guys saw, I only used castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil. I used coconut oil, and then I believe I used rosehip oil, just a few drops of that. Um, those are a couple of oils that I honestly keep in my stash. I don't use rosehip oil a lot. I do have high porosity hair, and what that means is that my hair craves moisture. So refreshing, giving it weekly deep conditioners, um, um, even protein treatment stuff like that really really works well with my hair so yeah let's hop right into it i'm gonna be using some gloves because i do have tips on and as you guys may know that if you are doing your hair and you have tips on especially when you need like a fill-in let me show you guys yeah i need a fill-in and plus my nail broke yesterday so it's very easy for your hair to get under the nail and then you're gonna snag your hair your hair's gonna break we don't got time for that so i have some gloves right here i also have some clips as usual that i use to separate my hair um i also do have a wide tooth comb i totally forgot i have some water also because my hair is a little bit tangled so i probably will spray a little bit of water before adding a protein treatment but i won't drench my hair so i just want to make that clear so we're gonna take my hair out this puff I look like that girl. What's that girl? I forgot, but I'm going to insert a picture right here. This is what I look like. Do y'all see how I look? Look at this. See how it's getting tangled? No bueno. I'm going to do piece by piece. So I'm going to just part my hair a little bit in some small piece. I'm going to spray with water. Just a little bit of water. Let's just work that hair in. I'm excited to do my protein treatment y'all um my protein treatment only consisted of mayonnaise egg i believe castor oil and extra virgin olive oil so this mask and the one that i used to do is not too far apart ingredient wise i would just say the only difference is that i never use avocado in my hair so this is my first time using avocado in my hair so i've been 
I've been longing to put avocado in my hair, but I just never got the chance because I was kind of scared. And I don't know. I never fully brought myself to use avocado in my hair. So, I mean, it's going on pretty well. I would say slip-wise, it's getting there. But I do have some tangles right here, as you guys can see. I'm due for my hair to be trimmed. Um... Just a little bit of shedding that I experience from just that small piece right there. Wow. Look at the curls. in smaller sections just to make sure it distributes evenly. If I am not mistaken, I'm not too sure about this one, but I truly believe that for protein treatments, you're supposed to use it at least once a month. My God. Wow, this is amazing and my hair feels so freaking good. Every Wednesday, every Saturday, trust and believe me, y'all. Y'all gonna see me every Wednesday, every Saturday. That's what I'm waiting for. Like, what is my hair gonna look like when I wash it out? Honestly, y'all, I can say that when I do, like, uh, the heavy mask, I said the heavy mask, when I do the Aztec clay mask, my hair is like, it just looks like I dyed it black. So my hair looks very jet black. It looks clean, you know? It looks so good, the curls are there. So I wonder if with this mask, that's what my hair will look like after. I don't remember exactly what my hair looks like after a protein treatment, but I know when I do like clay mask in my hair and stuff like that, my hair loves it and it turns out very nice at the end. So I'll just put some on the roots. Because the roots are important. Oh, baby, look at that, y'all. I am due for a trim. If you're from New York and you're watching this, you know that it was snowing like crazy. So I wasn't able to get my products for my giveaway, but I'll be doing that but before the, the week ends. This is so cool. So this is what the left side of my hair is looking like. My hair is like in layers almost. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my hair. I'm gonna listen to some music, probably watch a YouTube video while I do this. And yeah, so let's speed this thing up.
done putting the protein treatment in my head. This is what it's looking like. Let me do a little shaky shaky for y'all. And I think I'm gonna keep it in my hair for probably about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna wash it out and then I'm gonna come back to you guys and show you guys what it's looking like. This is how much shedding I had. This is basically how much shedding I had for today, which is not bad. Hey right, guys, so I just finished washing my hair out and this is exactly what it's looking like. My hair feels so soft. It feels so good. It looks brighter. The curls are popping. Like the curls are there, as you guys can see. Look at that, baby. Honestly, my hair feels so good. Those two points, baby, a 10 out of 10. This mask is a 10 out of 10. I do recommend you guys to try it. My hair loved it. Uh, it just feels so good. And also, another thing that I do recommend with this mask, even though it is my first time using it and I don't know how people wash it out. When I used to do my protein treatment, especially since it had egg in it, um, I used to wash it off under cold water because if you wash your hair out with hot water, then the egg cooks in your hair. And trust me, I'm not lying when I say this because I did wash my hair out with warm water one time when I did my protein treatment and I had cooked egg in my hair. So I do recommend you guys to wash this out with cold water and you will still have the same results. You won't have no difference. It's just maybe your hands will be cold, but trust me, it will definitely be worth it. As you guys can see, my hair looks so, uh, it looks so good, so much brighter. It feels so good, so much volume. I really think that my hair needed this for real. My hair really needed this. Y'all, I want to do a wash and go so it's going to come out exactly like this. I don't want to do no wash and go that's going to look ugly, all right? Y'all already know how I feel about short hair. And if my wash and goes could look something like this, baby, we slaying. We slaying. We slaying. We slaying. Next time, I'll use the exact ingredients that I should use, but I feel like I'm going to get the same results. So, yeah, this is how my hair is looking. I'm going to do a full 360 so you guys can see. I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn that post bell notification to get notified every single time you upload the video. Follow me on my hair page at Here's There. It is always on the screen and the link is always in that description box. Without further ado, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Nah, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Bye.